men were hurt in another shooting, this one in Pierre's parking lot. They both showed up at a hospital with gunshot wounds. A man is dead after a shooting early this morning. It happened around 3 in a parking lot in the area of Marketplace of Canterbury. The man was taken to the hospital in critical condition but later died. The incident has been ruled a homicide. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now I know I said I wasn't really going to be doing a lot of these closed retail places or anything anymore, but after I start thinking, I realize there's this place here that is in Fort Wayne that I actually completely forgot about and I thought it would make an, a really good video. So we are in Fort Wayne. Um, we are kind of on the north side of town and this is what used to be Pierre's I guess you could call it entertainment center, nightclub, I don't really know. It would technically be a nightclub. Um, they still have their spotlights out here. Uh, but basically this was a big, it was a bar, concert venue, club, whatever you want to call it. Really popular, it was here for a long time. And from what I understand, Still got a lot of stuff in there. From what I understand, uh, it's been closed about three years or so, but from what I understand about whenever the original owner died, all of a sudden they just decided they're closing. And I don't think there was ever a real reason why they closed. They just decided they didn't want to run it, I guess. I don't know, but... Um, I actually never got to come here. Let's well, see, this says, as of January of this year, there is a new owner. Or I'm sorry, July of this year, a new owner that has a application for a liquor license. I don't know. I haven't really heard anything as far as this place reopening. So I don't know. But yeah, it's in a really busy area. This place used to be so popular. I know a lot of people that came here all the time for shows. Um, I never was able to. I just, I don't know, I never did. There was never really any... I think that's actually a separate thing there. It was mostly like regional bands that came here. There were a few uh, national bands that came, but it was most mostly regional, but... Yeah, they also did like wrestling events and stuff like that. I'll put some pictures in if I could find them. But yeah, this is a really... I can't believe I never thought of doing a video here. Still got the fountain out here. This lady. This poor lady. This little mermaid or whatever she is. Been sitting here all alone for years. Um, but yeah, it looks like, according to that sign, they may be reopening at some point. I don't know. It's definitely a mess in there. So it looks like they may have, like, started some renovations. I don't know. But. Yeah. I wish that I could actually have gone to a show there. I just never did. Um, but pretty much this whole shopping center is, is occupied with things. There's a, uh, like an event center here. I don't know if this was part of Pierre's. I don't, no, it wasn't. This is a separate thing. But anyway, there's also another place that I'm possibly going to be able to do a video on while I'm here. I forgot, completely forgot about. Uh, that green building over there, or blue building, is actually a former comedy club also. And it used to, uh, it was open for years. It's called Snickers Comedy Club. It actually used to also be a TV studio. They would actually do a night, uh, weekly TV sh comedy show. On, I remember it was on Sunday nights called The Night Shift. And... It just closed all of a sudden, too. The owner of that just decided he didn't want to do any... He didn't want to run it anymore, so he closed it. Um, 
So if I can do anything, if I can get a video over there, I will. I don't know. There were cops over there earlier, so that may not happen. But yeah, that's a that was I was surprised that closed. But anyway, Pierre's Fort Wayne, Indiana. Yeah, this is it from Pierre's in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I hope everybody has a great day, a great week, and thanks for watching.